Hello, today is Tuesday, October 18th, 2022. I'm Joe Schmidt from TC2, and this is Staying Connected. On today's podcast, I'm joined by Andrew Brown, the managing partner of LB3 and the chairman of TC2. Andrew and I are going to give you a quick overview of the TC2 LB3 conference coming up on November 3rd in New York City. If you have any responsibility for networking and technology at your company, you should plan to join us because we are going to share a ton of real world frontline ICT information that you will definitely find useful. If you are an LB3 and TC2 client or a friend of the firm, and you haven't already signed up for our get together, well, maybe this podcast will sway you to join us in New York City for a day. Hey, Andrew, thanks for joining me today. Hey, Joe, it's good to be here. You know, following that very good intro, I should start by saying that all of us at LB3 and TC2 are seeing a huge push right now by our clients to save money on their ICT and to figure out how to manage their network IT budgets more efficiently as businesses return to more normal post-pandemic operations. We haven't gotten together in New York for our annual conference for the last three years because of the pandemic, so I'm glad we can finally be back together in person and be able to share some of LB3's and TC2's insights about what the next couple of years are going to look like for the network and ICT space. Yep, I agree with that. You know, what I love about the New York conferences in just one day, we share the sourcing and the negotiation activities that help enterprises stay on the leading edge of the pricing curve. We also cover emerging network technologies that drive those cost reductions and the processes and tools that keep company infrastructure costs optimized. We also provide some really useful material on how to structure enterprise sourcing efforts so that customers have the tools to maximize their leverage to obtain market-leading pricing and contract terms. Yeah, that's certainly the traditional core theme of our work and our New York conferences. Obviously, a lot has changed since COVID shut everything down. UC became the lifeblood of companies, and it enabled them to keep operating during the pandemic. So we're going to talk about the most effective ways to source and deploy UC how to deal with the primary vendors of these services, and of course, how to source the network services that support it. All really important stuff on the IT and sourcing side as companies are bringing employees back to the office. So what else are we going to cover? Well, we're going to kick off the conference by providing our unique viewpoint on the current network services market, share the different vendor behaviors we're seeing at the negotiation table, and discuss how companies should position themselves for maximum flexibility. There are a lot of new players out there right now champing at the bit for a piece of the enterprise business for these next generation services. And the old ones are also doing some interesting things to hold on to the business they have. So we'll cover that when we're all together. And on a related note, the landscape for traditional network RFPs has changed dramatically. So we'll cover how procurements work when SD-WAN led internet first initiatives are now the biggest driver of transport procurements, even as enterprises continue to use core legacy network connectivity like MPLS. You know, two other massive areas of growth for enterprises have been all things cloud and managed services and outsourcing. For the cloud session, we're going to highlight key deal features and share practical guidance that will help enterprises achieve the most competitive pricing in terms for their next cloud deal. And then we'll do the same for managed services and outsourcing because, Andrew, I think most organizations have some degree of outsourced or managed services support for their network or software or IT infrastructure. And, you know, I guess it wouldn't be an LB3 TC2 conference if we didn't cover some of the key regulatory issues that have a direct impact on customers' use of these services. No, it wouldn't. So the important regulatory issues affecting enterprises right now are federal laws governing how to deploy services, particularly UC, so that they ensure access to 911 emergency services. And the biggest cost impact on telecommunications these days is the familiar universal service fund assessment, which now tacks on another 30% to end users' bottom lines. So 
We'll give a quick overview of what's going on from the regulatory front and more importantly, what enterprise customers should be doing to address these costs and obligations. And then we'll also have a session on wireless, which is now, as you know, one of the biggest costs for enterprises and it's only destined to grow as 5G is rolled out. And we're also going to hit what is a really informative session on telecom expense management because companies are really struggling right now to get the most value from the TEM services that they now have. And we can offer some tips that will help businesses use these services better to manage what is becoming a very complex spend. You know, as always, Andrew, this is really going to be a full and informative day. And what I love is that it's a very friendly gathering where a lot of great information is exchanged between the attendees and the presenters in a very informal setting. It's nicely laid back. You know, it's fun. As always, you know, we only invite LB3 and TC2 clients and friends of the firm. So There aren't going to be any vendors or service providers attending, which allows for some really great and open information exchanges with the attendees. You don't have those cheesy sales pitches or vendor excuse making when we talk about all the bad things that they do. Okay. Hey, thanks, Andrew. I know you and I are both going to be at the conference along with many of our colleagues from LB3 and TC2. If you are interested in attending this one-day conference in New York City on November 3rd, You can find the agenda and registration details on LB3's and TC2's websites. You can also contact the LB3 or TC2 professional that you work with, and they will get you sorted. If you are unable to attend, but you do have ICT needs, feel free to drop Andrew, me, or any of our LB3 and TC2 colleagues an email or just give us a call. Finally, you can stay up to date by subscribing to these Staying Connected podcasts, by checking out our websites, and by following us on LinkedIn.